All right, Charles Zatora, for God's sakes, don't start. But I was thinking about this. I was like, yep, he's having, he'll have a little chuckle, I'm sure about this. So yeah, I went on the, um, on the fly. I haven't even made a move yet. I was about to, and I was like, oh, wait a minute. I'm starting to already run into issues. <laughs> uh, the first one was, and I'm glad I checked. I was like, what in the world? So if you see here, uh, the first on the artillery track, sorry, it's, uh, it's still whatever. But if you see here on the artillery track, it's zero and then a 20 and then a 3D. So what that's saying is that it, and it's not right. It should be only 10. Um, I don't have, uh, there's no 20 um, artillery markers, those uh, things with the explosions. And uh, checked in the errata and it says it should only be 10, not, it shouldn't say 20. So anyways, it says turn zero um, and then they would get 20 markers they put on anywhere they want to put as long as there's a line of sight. But right now it doesn't really matter because it's um, all along the, um, the German front line here. And uh, three dice. So what uh, I would do because I was having a hard time out and I didn't understand what they were uh, trying to mean. I was like, okay, does that mean that the combat results is uh, a plus three? But then uh, if I check on here on the trench, um, and then when you look at the results, it's impossible they will ever do anything because you ignore A results and E results or whatever. So I was like, well, that's the end of that. Um, it does say it does say to uh, ignore the, and the guy even, uh, there's uh, here on the, yeah, the, find out some other stuff. It's, the main thing is for the infiltration thing here. It says here that units cannot infiltrate across trench hex sides. Uh, and bombardment uses its full combat value, so that means I would just I use all three dice, add them up, and that'll be the number I use on here. So I'm assuming odds are it's going to be nine times out of ten. I'm going to have a uh, well. I'm going to see very often it's probably going to be a plus ten or very close to it. So I, I would probably need to be looking for the D2s. And I think at this moment you only uh, retreat one hex. So the other thing is, and then uh, these little puffs of smoke are the, the fact that um, the, the British get to use smoke on the very first turn, on turn zero, and it adds one extra uh, d um, die to you. So I get uh, four dice instead of three. And I did want to do kind of, you know, somewhat realistic in the sense I'm obviously not going to use gas towards a freaking hill hex. It doesn't make any sense. Uh, but now that I found out about this infiltration thing, for example, I'm not allowed to freely move. Uh, even though uh, trench hexes do not exert, uh, like you do not uh, get a, a zone, enemy zone of control through it, I'm not allowed, supposedly, I guess at this point in t for this bit, uh, at least from what I'm reading, I'll try to take a look to make sure. I'm not allowed to just move somebody over here. I'm going to have to push uh, somebody. I can have, like, I can have a German troop there. And if there was nobody there, I could move on in. But you know, then I'm entering the zone of control. But there wasn't a wasn't a German troop along the French lines here. I guess is what they're trying to say. So I have to push. So if that's the case, I'm now going to concentrate my um, my smoke in one area, I guess. And I also did find out that uh, historically, I'm not doing the way the Germans did. They clued in pretty quick to protect La Basse and uh, Lens. I guess the uh, that's where the rail lines are coming into. And I didn't. I left my gaps there. And that's where the British are going to be attacking. So uh, we'll see. And I and uh, I think historically as well. Um, yet again, it was there was some slight correlate correlation towards. Uh, how effective the gas was and I think it was most effective on this side uh, I think and I'll take a look again and they made some uh, pretty pretty um, uh, good spots here but this just looks like an absolute nightmare here uh, a lot of high ground for the Germans and and lots of trench lines and so on and so forth yeah there's actually some aer um, aerial footage I took a look of look at of the Hudson Holm Polar uh, readout, I guess if that's what it's called. Maybe I should pop that on the World War World War One image of the day. It's it's pretty impressive looking. Yeah, I think I'll do that. So that's it. I think I'll concentrate my gas attack and try to force a uh, thing there, and I'll make sure that I um, you know get get on going. <laughs> oh my God! Yes, Charles Atari, you are right. You are right. Anyways, and this is from what I can see out of you know I haven't played a lot of them. You know I've owned a lot of them. It's because they're so affordable to get. Is that uh, I think potentially that um, you know this is probably one of the easiest uh, mod uh, versions. Oh, and on a side note, uh, do I have it here? I am practicing. I know it's about this whatever, but uh, I did um, 
I, I just wanted to see how it would work on glass. This is just a uh, Sharpie magic, uh, Sharpie permanent marker. It seems to be working well with the glass, so I'll uh, I'll start doing. Uh, I'll start ad uh, adjusting that into that uh, my old Newton into that. So so sorry, sorry. I'll try to. And I did get a tripod, believe it or not. So if you see that there, so hopefully um, I'll get rid of the herky jerkies as much as possible and that's that so on uh, hopefully next time I do an update you're actually going to see some movement all right see you later hope you're having a great time